Have you ever wondered about the peculiar customs and hidden taboos that govern relationships in ancient Rome? How did these societal norms impact the lives of gay men? Prepare yourself to uncover a world of intrigue where labels dictated status and the pursuit of masculinity held sway. Are you ready to explore the unspoken rules that shaped the lives of men in ancient Rome and the unexpected consequences they faced? Hold on to your seats as we unravel the mysteries of a long lost era. Despite the lack of legal recognition, gay couples in ancient Rome still found ways to solidify their relationships. These unofficial marriage ceremonies involved exchanging vows, sharing a bed, and even adopting children together. The fact that these ceremonies and relationships existed shows that people throughout history have always found ways to express their love and commitment to each other, even in the face of social and legal barriers. It also highlights the complex and diverse nature of human sexuality, which cannot be easily categorized or suppressed. While it's important to note that same-sex relationships in ancient Rome were not universally accepted, it's also important to recognize that they were not entirely taboo either. Some men were more open about their same-sex relationships, while others kept them hidden for fear of persecution. Regardless, the existence of these relationships and ceremonies shows that the desire for love and companionship is a fundamental aspect of human nature, one that transcends time and cultural boundaries. Despite the taboo surrounding homosexuality, there were men in ancient Rome who had romantic and sexual relationships with other men. These relationships were often marked by a power dynamic in which the dominant partner asserted his masculinity, while the passive partner risked ridicule and social ostracism. Labels such as senatus or pathicus exilitus were given to men who played secondary roles in homosexual relationships. One of the most famous examples of same-sex relationships in ancient Rome was Emperor Nero's marriage to a male lover named Sporus. Nero, who was married to two women, had Sporus castrated to resemble his dead wife and publicly married him in a ceremony where Nero took on the role of the bride. This event shocked Roman society and highlighted the complexities and contradictions of gender and sexuality in ancient Rome. The short-lived relationship between Nero and Sporus ended when Nero fell in love with another man named Pythagoras, abandoning Sporus, who took his own life. Although the details of Nero's relationship with Sporus and Pythagoras are lost to history, some historians speculate that Nero may have identified as gender queer, not conforming to traditional male or female gender roles. These examples demonstrate that same-sex relationships have existed throughout history, even in societies that did not accept or recognize them. They also show that people have found ways to express their love and commitment even in the face of social and legal barriers. Same-sex relationships in ancient Rome were viewed as inferior to heterosexual relationships, with the passive partner often seen as less masculine and subject to ridicule. While some couples may have been accepted within their social circles, they were still viewed as deviant and outside the norm. The lack of legal recognition for same-sex relationships also meant that couples did not have the same legal rights and protections as heterosexual couples. For example, while heterosexual couples could enter into legally binding marriages that provided certain rights and protections, such as inheritance and property rights, same-sex couples were not afforded these same rights. This lack of legal recognition made it difficult for same-sex couples to form lasting and stable relationships as their unions were not recognized or protected by the state. Despite these challenges, same-sex couples in ancient Rome found ways to express their love and commitment to one another, often through unofficial ceremonies or by living together as a family unit. These relationships and unions may not have been officially recognized, but they were still an important part of the lives of those who participated in them. It is a testament to the resilience and perseverance of the LGBTQ community throughout history who have found ways to love and connect with one another, even in the face of societal and legal barriers. Despite these challenges, same-sex couples in ancient Rome and throughout history have found ways to express their love and commitment to one another. The existence of unofficial same-sex marriage ceremonies and relationships highlights the resilience and persistence of human desire for love and companionship. It also serves as a reminder of the need for continued progress and acceptance of all forms of love and relationships. In conclusion, while same-sex relationships were not accepted or legally recognized in ancient Rome, the existence of unofficial marriage ceremonies and relationships highlights the complexity and diversity of human sexuality. Despite facing societal and legal barriers, individuals throughout history have found ways to express their love and commitment. 
is important to remember that while we may look back at ancient Rome with fascination and intrigue, we should also recognize and acknowledge the discrimination and inequality that existed for those in same-sex relationships. Today, we continue to fight for the recognition and protection of all forms of love in relationships. As we learn more about the past, we can continue to strive towards a more inclusive and accepting future. We'll see you next time for more historical, inspirational stories.